Well, the weekend brought with it some clear skies and a little bit of sunshine, and that was very nice. But as we got into a new work week today, seeing a little bit of more complexity, seeing some spotty showers right now, as you may have noticed, a lot of cloud coverage among the area, seeing a little bit of showers passing over the region right now, but not a lot to see with the system gets nearer to us. It's going to be our next weather maker. Right now, looking out over the Starville area, seeing those higher clouds in place and that temperature sitting at 52 degrees. Now, that is significantly warm considering all of the cold air we have seen pushing down from the north throughout this winter season. With a dew point at 41, though, you can definitely see that warmer temperature is going to be causing some problems for us later in the evening. That south wind at 9 miles per hour continues to kick up a little bit of that warm gulf air from the south, allowing Jackson and the Meridian area to be in the upper 50s as well as the 60s, but still staying a little further north, seeing that cool air pumping in, 46 at Tunica and 46 at Tupelo, that will benefit this system as it gets into the region tonight. A lot of the southeast region is seeing a lot of cloud coverage, a little further north seeing some of those spotty showers earlier into the morning, but then a little further south, notice this large blob of moisture we have. This is all part of what's going to combine with that cooler north air to create a rather complex system as we get into tonight. Most of the area can expect to see those rain showers, and as we mentioned on Friday, we expected them to be rather weak. But now we have a lot of cold air aloft punching down from the north. A very intense low-pressure system aloft is combining with all that warmer gulf moisture from the south, allowing us to possibly see some wintry mix as we get into the late hours on Tuesday evening. As the low-pressure system is situated just further to the gulf, we have a lot of air pushing out of the east as well, that will benefit that cooler air in the system also. As far as we get past this system, seeing tomorrow rain changing to snow over the night, seeing one to three possible inches accumulation from this. A little further into the Golden Triangle region, right along the 82 corridor, possibly seeing that rain and snow mix with one inch accumulation. That's what's going to cause the severity from this because we'll see a lot of freezing of that precipitation at the surface with the higher trees and power lines and such like that. However, a little further to the south, just seeing all of that rain. That's coming up tomorrow, but what's going to happen today? Seeing that temperature, as I mentioned earlier, already going at 52 degrees, getting up to 55, though, with those clouds continuing to build in, and that south wind at 15 miles per hour continuing to push in that system. Tonight, though, seeing those rain showers building in, that temperature only getting down to 39, so it's really going to be hard to see some of that snow fall among our area. Those calm winds, however, will allow that temperature to continue to drop as we get into the rest of the viewing area. Seeing Tuesday maintain the cloudy conditions and the rain, but then Wednesday morning in the earliest hours, seeing the possibility for snow really intensify. Clearing out on Thursday and actually seeing those lows dip back down into the 20s as we near the weekend, but seeing those highs stretch even further, reaching 60 on Saturday with a little bit of clearing there as well. Thank you for joining us here at Campus Connect. I am Aaron Warden.